Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're on the hunt for some easy and fast money in GTA Online, then you're in the right place because today we're gonna be diving into the fastest and quickest ways for you to make tons of money solo in the game, especially after Rockstar's latest update. We have some significant payout buffs that I believe you'll find very beneficial and helpful here. And this video is your ultimate solo money-making guide for this week in GTA Online. Stick with us here and you could be pulling in over $5 million from one single cell mission, with most of that being low effort AFK income. So if you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online and Rockstar Games, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Now all of this easy cheesy money we're going to be talking about is thanks to the current double money offer on nightclubs. First off, to begin this process, snag yourself a nightclub while they're on discount here. I recommend just picking really anyone up that you think is going to be beneficial here. I got one of the more expensive ones, but once you have your nightclub, let's talk about making money. Your first income stream is going to be the nightclub wall safe. Every in-game day, which is about 48 minutes real time, a chunk of cash is going to get dropped into your nightclub safe depending on your club's popularity. Max out that popularity, and normally it's $50,000 every 48 minutes, but of course with double money, it's going to be $100,000. So $100,000 every single in-game day or 48 minutes. To do this though, and to ensure that $100,000 payout, you need to keep your popularity high. And so you can do that by either hiring or rebooking DJs regularly. Hiring DJs fills your popularity to 100% and rebooking them boosts it by 10%. Now that is a little bit more of an outdated method nowadays though, just because it's quite costly, even if it is effective. But what you can also do to increase your popularity is dealing with troublemakers inside of your club who show up as blue blips on your minimap when you enter your nightclub. Doing this not only bumps your popularity, but also nets you a cool $10,000 as well. To bounce these guys out of your club consistently, you can try entering passive mode before going into your nightclub to get these guys to spawn, although that's not really guaranteed anymore. Some players suggest also trying to enter passive mode before you get to the staircase of your nightclub, and at least that way you'll still get the bouncing troublemaker missions to spawn, but worst case scenario, you may need to drive a VIP to their home or to the hospital, which is usually pretty close by. Also, make sure, don't forget to invest in your staff upgrades here to reduce how fast you lose that hard earned popularity in your club. Next up is the nightclub warehouse. Here you can assign up to five technicians to gather various products in the background while you play and you won't even need to lift a finger until it's time to sell. But just remember here, you do actually need to own the corresponding businesses here to assign the technicians to specific product. The nightclub won't take any stock away from your other businesses, but you do need to own them in the first place. So the top earner here is gonna be South American Imports, and that corresponds to your Coca-Cola lockup, which is gonna net you with a double money $400,000 every 20 hours. Next, we have Pharmaceutical Research, corresponding to the Math Lab, netting you 340,000 every 20 hours. After that, we have Cash Creation, which is the counterfeit cash factory, netting you 280,000 every 20 hours. Cargo and Shipments is up next, and you either need to own a CEO cargo warehouse or a hangar for $1 million every 58.8 hours. And then we have Sporting Goods, which in which you need to own the bunker for, for another $1 million every 66.6 hours. What I don't recommend you do is waiting the full time for your full 66.6 hours so that everything fills up, and then you can also switch some technicians to organic produce and printing and copying. Some players do that. I do not recommend it. What I recommend you do is just sell when your South American imports fills up in that first 20 hours and then just rinse and repeat that part of the production for your nightclub. You'll get progress, of course, on cargo and shipments. You'll also get it for 20 hours of sporting goods and you'll also fill up South American imports pharmaceutical research as well as cash creation. Now, another tip for stocking up on your warehouse here is to call Johan for some nightclub sourcing missions, which are paying out double money right now as well. This means you can fill up your warehouse twice as fast and to hold all this product, just make sure you purchase enough storage levels. Honestly, I just recommend buying as many as you can. And then finally, it is gonna be time to cash out, right? Sell all your goods at once. This is the most efficient way and it spares you the hassle of multiple missions without any real bonuses, but also know your delivery vehicles as well. The Speedo Custom is going to be used for those small deliveries with 0 to 89 crates. The Mule is going to be used for medium deliveries with 90 to 179 crates. And then the Pounder Custom for large stocks of 180 plus crates. 
customize them for extra protection here, which is going to be particularly useful if you're selling in public lobbies, which you need to do, in fact, to get that $5 million. Use the ghost organization feature to keep off the radar during your sale missions, which can really smooth out the selling process. And some missions might involve you needing a cargo bob for specific delivery scenarios, like airlifting a mule to an offshore rig, but that's more of a rare occurrence. I wouldn't really worry about it. If you sell in a public lobby with 20 or more people, you can earn an extra 50% on the total value of the sale. So that's some insane money that can be made this week because that'll be $5,070,000 in total if you sell a full nightclub. Of course, probably not going to want to do that. I don't really recommend you wait because you'll be sacrificing a lot of money, but it is kind of an insane amount. Now, side note with the mule delivery vehicle, I would recommend players also do not buy this vehicle if you have not already. Just stick with the Speedo and the Pounder Custom because the mule just sucks. It's got bad weapons, bad armor, and bad defensive capabilities. And since you can just use the Pounder Custom in place of the mule if you have more than 90 crates, but don't have the mule purchased, then you might as well. If you're an unfortunate soul and player like me out there who bought all three delivery vehicles when this update dropped, then sadly, there's no way to get rid of your mule. You're actually just going to be stuck using it if you have reached the crate threshold where that's going to be your sale vehicle. So that kind of sucks right there. And then lastly, a killer strategy here to maximize your earnings while you're waiting for your nightclub to fill up and still take advantage of your nightclub popularity wall safe is just go AFK. You can do this by heading to an apartment building where you own multiple units. You can step down as a CEO or an MC president and just hang out at the apartment selection screen. This keeps the game running and your technicians busy all while you're away from your console or PC. You can also AFK at your CEO office garage floor selection screen, just like you would at the apartments. Or you can even view your DJs off of your nightclub TVs. This is a low effort way to ensure that when you return to the game, you've got plenty of products ready to sell this week. And of course, that's the more passive and lazy way of going about it. If you're actually playing the game, this week, then be sure to keep carrying on with all your other favorite money making methods while you collect your money at the wall safe and you fill up your warehouse. But with that said, that's all we have time for in this video. If you missed my rare vehicles video from yesterday, where we reviewed all of the top picks for Rockstar's removed vehicles that they brought back into the game this week for a very limited time only, make sure to go check that out. Also, tomorrow we're going to be discussing all of this week's best vehicle discounts as well. So make sure you stick around for that video and go watch the other uploads from this week if you have any more questions on Rockstar's new GTA Online nightclub up update. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video here today. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA online, Red Dead online, and of course, Rockstar Games content as a whole, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome Welcome to ask many questions on those platforms. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that being said, though, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully, you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.